Can you share any thoughts on QuantumScape and their progress with their battery development? How powerful will it be for the EV sector, and what do you consider its chances of success to be, perhaps based on their progress to date? Thanks for the question. So our last update from last year on primarily Enovix, but also QuantumScape, kind of remains the same. All the developments are fine and well, but boils down to, for both companies, is a race against the clock. And the clock is their balance sheet. How much cash do they have on balance? And can they start manufacturing batteries and selling them and breaking even on those sales before they run out of cash again? Because whenever they run out of cash, you have a big, not very fun event, a big sale of new stock, issuance of stock and sale onto the market, or having to raise debt, something that's not a good long-term thing. So that's the real issue for a company like QuantumScape. The progress, it's going to probably come as a curveball, a bit of a surprise when we reach that point where they say, hey, we're shipping batteries to Volkswagen or whoever, and we're going to start making money. We have a clear line of sight on, on when we'll break even and start making money. That'll just be a surprise announcement. All of the updates on these things are just a lot of just, I don't know, PR work. Trying to get attention, trying to drum up interest from potential customers, but no game-changing breakthrough yet. Let me just add this to anybody else that saw that we bought Enovix and QuantumScape. When I said very small play position, I meant very small. If those two stocks went to zero today, we wouldn't even notice. Like it really would literally have no impact on our portfolio. I'd like to clarify that. We did not purchase because we saw some imminent approach of a game-changing development for Enovix or QuantumScape.